Let's take a look at this shot by Parker Bone. He is certainly fired up. Great, smooth, fluid delivery from Parker. And you'll see it right there for the big strike. Gets them all. Six in a row for Parker Bone, the third. And Chris Sand now up. Great shot from Chris. Just 21 pins down. High backswing of Chris Sand. Likes to throw the ball to the left and hook it back to the right. And he's liking the way this one's looking right now. Eight pin, last one to fall. Great reaction. Mike Mullen really needs a strike here, Marshall. He's on line 26. And the messenger goes in front of the seven pin. Head pin went to the sideboard, went in front of the seven pin, and right now for Mike Mullen, certainly does not look good at all. Good young man, Mike Mullen. Marshall, what advice would you give to a young bowler who wants to join the PBA Tour? Well, I'll tell you right now, Gary, if, they, if they're young and they're unattached and they want it, do it while you are young. Don't wait and say, what if? Go out there and follow your dream. And Mike Mullen will convert the spare. So we will be back to the National Bowling Stadium in Reno with more in just a moment. And today's trip down memory lane remembers one of the greatest bowlers ever. Earl Anthony won this event twice and also collected a PBA record 41 career titles. Earl Anthony, I had the pleasure or privilege of bowling with and against him for many years back in the 70s and early 80s. And in my mind, the best ever. And you know something ironically, Marshall, that our top seed today, Mike Albee, won his first title on the PBA Tour by defeating none other than Mr. Anthony. And it was a major title. PBA National Championship, Mike Albee. And Parker Bowles simply is not ready to stop throwing strikes. That is seven strikes in a row. And Chris Sand now will perform on lane 26. Still very much in the running, Gary. Chris, Chris is only 31 pins down with a strike here. Can cut it to 21. Needs it desperately. Well, coming up next week on the PBA Tour on CBS, the Greater Detroit Open from Taylor Lanes in Taylor, Michigan. Ricky Ward won the title last year. He'll try to defend that title coming up next Saturday, 3 p.m. The PBA Tour continues on CBS. Mike Mullen up next, lane at 25, and he's trying to stick close. And for Mike Mullen right now, it's just getting some experience. He knows he's not going to win this game, but he's going to finish it. He's going to try hard. And it'll certainly help him out the next time he finds himself in this situation. And I do believe there will be a next time. Again, as we said, a product of St. John's. He made the collegiate nationals three out of four years. His mom and dad, Mike and Julie Martin, flew in today to watch the action. And they've got to be disappointed on the one hand, but certainly proud that their son has made it this far. Parker Bone the third. There's a $10,000 bonus from the PBA for shooting 300 in our first match. Parker's had a 299 on TV. It was in the 1997 Showboat Invitational against Steve Jarris. So uh, Parker's certainly not, not afraid to throw a lot of strikes. All right, Marshall, and if a 300 game is bold here, there is a $10,000 bonus. He's still going. That's eight in a row. Parker Bone the third. Look at how aggressive he is through the ball. All the pins disappear. Close, will it? You bet. Chris Sand once again forced to strike to stay within 21 pins. Needs it. Another solid seven. Gary, he's done nothing but make great shots. The difference in the match between Chris and Parker, the solid seven pins. Chris trying to hang tough with Parker Bowen the 30 as a Michigan Junior Masters title to his credit. As we mentioned earlier, remember the Saginaw State University bowling team. 
Uh, he's, a great, he's a great bowler. He doesn't have a lot of, you know, big credentials, PBA credentials. He's not a, he's not a member. But I sure think that he should be, and so should this young man, Mike Mullen. You know, we talked with Mike last night, and he did mention that that being a, a member of the tour and traveling the PBA is something in his in his future, maybe the next couple of years. And wobbly 10 pin. Well, coming up next, it's the $1.8 million Bell South Classic TPC at Sugarloaf from Duluth, Georgia. Greg Perry and J. Don Blake. Co-leaders at nine under Tiger Woods making his first start in a while just behind. Coming up next on CBS Sports. Certainly never a surprise to see Tiger Woods high on the leaderboard. So Mike Mullen converts. And as you can see, eight consecutive strikes for Parker Bowen the third. Right now, with a strike here, Parker Bone can shut out Chris Sands. If he strikes in the ninth frame, the worst Parker can do is shoot in the 260s. The best Chris Sands can do right now, 258. And Marcy this went on a, oh, sorry, Marshall, Marcy went on a three-week promotional tour in Asia for Brunswick. And after a whole lot of strikes today, he's going to Anchorage, Alaska. Parker Bone just doing nothing but the same boring thing time after time. Not so boring for Parker Bone. Let's take a look at the reaction of this great future Hall of Famer from Jackson, New Jersey. And the first errant shot, Gary, from, from Chris. And as we said earlier, Parker thought that he had the edge because neither Chris nor Mike had bowled on television before. Uh, you know, is that is that uh, something that puts the pressure on the bowlers, the TV appearances? Well, it's certainly a, a, a very, very decided edge for a veteran player like Parker Bone. And, and there, there is pressure on the televised players, but I think there's actually the pressure is more on our tournament leader, Mike Albee, because the people in the shootout, you know, they, they can just let it go, hang loose. All they can do is improve their positions. Mike Albee's got to defend that title one more time. And you've talked about the importance of the medal game, and certainly Parker Bone, the third, has that down to that. Well, he's got it going right now, and certainly a lot of momentum. You know, he was trying in that last frame to get the strike in order to shut out Chris Sand. Now what's Parker Bone the third thinking about? He's thinking about shooting 300. This game is one. He's got three more shots to throw to have a national televised 300 game. Well, Mike Mullen leaving the 247 in the ninth frame. And he'll look to convert this. Good conversion. And now here. Here is the moment, Gary. It's the 10th frame, nine strikes in a row. It's something that everyone dreams about. I know when I was just a youngster at home, I think about, you know, bowling, practicing by myself and pretending I had three strikes to throw on national television for a 300. Parker Bone is living that moment right now. Well, 10th frame for Parker Bone the third. fall over at the last moment two more for bone and he's got an extra 10 grand we take a look at our first look at matt cam and look at the pins dancing around just to barely get out the 10 pin and the reaction from parker bone please thank you you know gary last year our champion jason queen he shot a 300 game in the televised finals can parker bone make a repeat performance of that We'll know probably within the next minute or so, Marshall. And here he is on lane 26. Great shot, Parker Bone. 11 strikes in a row. What excitement. People are on their feet here. This is a lane that doesn't hook as much. He throws the ball a little further to the right. It holds the pocket. And nothing but 10 in the pit for Parker Bone. Now Parker must collect himself, Gary. Very important shot. It's a history-making shot. There have only been 11 perfect games 
on national television, Parker going for the 12. That's right, and even dozen if Parker Bell the third can pick this one up. Gotta hurry! It's gone! He's done it! 300 gate for Parker Bone! Unbelievable bowling. It was all there, the whole package, the form, the mental aspect.